Biggity bang bang, biggity bang bang, biggity bang bang. Remember this TikTok dance? No ma'am. Biggity bang bang, biggity bang bang. Big. Oh. And we gonna hurry up and get to this mukbang because ho is what hungry today. We have some. A uh, turkey, ham. I don't know. With some lettuce, onions, tomatoes, some yellow cheese, and some white cheese. And some sour cream and cheddar chips on the side. And we're going to hurry up and get into this. And we're going to do another hot mukbang story time. Okay? Two in a Two in a row, okay. Um, yeah, so I think this look like it's gonna be real dry. So let me go get some water. Don't be looking at my butt when I get up either. <laughs> All right, hoes, I'm back. I had to give me some water. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> Mm. Uh, let's bite into this I got some chips on the side I don't really be eating chips like that Like that But look at that sandwich Let me do a thumbnail If I can Okay let me look at this. This look good though, right? Uh -huh. Let me eat it from the back. What do you mean by that? Um. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Mm. Hi. Okay, mm. so mm, like I said, we're going to do another haunted mukbang. And um, if you haven't watched the last haunted mukbang that I dropped, go ahead and catch up, cause we are talking about the same house I used to live in, where we call it Weddington. Mmm. So good. Oh my god. Ooh, baby, this sounds good. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. 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 But sorry, I just do it. Um, wedding time, right? Uh -huh. Now. I touched on, when I last was talking to y'all, I touched on a little bit, like the first week of Weddington. How Weddington was a beautiful place that we found. By luck, the land, the what, was really cool, really nice. I just always really emphasize. What? Emphasize. Empathize. What'd I say? Well, anything, emphasize. Made it clear. Public school, calm down. That 
He didn't want us to mess up the apartment. Cool, I get it. I was going to do that anyway, ho. Oh, I get it. So, after the night I woke up in the middle of the night, and my closet was just giving off really bad vibes. It was over from that point. Weddington was not the same apartment that I moved in to me. Okay. But it took about a good two months for me to be like, wait a minute. What is this energy? All right? Mmm. You won't bite. No. Don't bite this. Mmm. Well. Wellington was crazy. Like I said, it was like no other house I lived in before or any other haunting I've ever been a part of before because Weddington was unique because events often happen with other people around. The other times I got haunted or had these experiences, I was alone, you know. I ain't had nobody there to back up my claim. So I'm gonna go over some stuff that we, that like events that I can remember where other people experienced it too. Yeah, that was a lot. But, Is my head cut off? Oh. So, it was this one time. Me and my sister were there alone with my son. My son had just been born. He was like one. So he was moving around and stuff. Well, he was sitting, chilling on my lap, taking a nap. We in there watching TV. Bad Girls Club. <laughs> and, uh... It's so hard to eat and tell a story. It was this train he had, this toy train. Battery operated. Little caboose. Not caboose, whatever that front little part of the train is, right? And it was this little thing you press down on it and when you pressed it train to start up and go moving right now my son hadn't played with that thing in years that battery is gone dead just whatever but it was in his toy box and he had pulled out a whole bunch of toys to play with before he had got on my lap and went to sleep so me and my sister up there watching TV like this in the living room. And the train would make noise. It was like a little crunchy song. Country song. A little ding 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 ding. Right? Okay. So we sitting there watching Bad Girls Club, minding our mother black ass business. And then all of a sudden, that train goes like this. It starts going across the floor with the song playing. And we sitting up there looking at it just Ding 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 Go across the goddamn floor and we looking at each other like What the fuck? Why would it do that? You can't even go over there and press it and get it to go because the battery is long dead and gone. All of a sudden it wanna start up. And I'm the type, look, I believe in 
I'm an open-minded person. I'm very questionative. Why, well, why would this happen? Well, how could it do this? And I always try to find an explanation. I'm like, maybe the battery had one last spark and just go across. You know, I always try to find a logical explanation for stuff. But it happened. Another time. Me and my sister and my husband sitting in the other room, watching TV, chilling like we do. And I got these big candles, like, I should have bought it in here. Like, this big, if I wanted to knock somebody's ass out, I'd take that candle and I could bust your motherfucking head smooth off his neck, right? Oh, wow. And I have him on this shelf. This candle been sitting up on this shelf. Forever. 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 Right? We all sitting there. All of a sudden, something came, shot out of nowhere, boom, hit the candle to make uh, with enough force to make it fall. Now, when I say you're going to have to hit that candle, I mean you're going to have to take this water bottle, this heavy ass water bottle, and throw that shit full force in order to knock that big ass candle over something came shot knocked that big ass candle over candle hit broke splattered and we like what the f did that we go searching and can't find nothing can't find anything on the floor or around that would have knocked the candle off and it's only the three of us there we ain't throw it that's weird. That's good. Mm. So I know you one of them people who put their potato chips in a sandwich. You nasty. Oh, but it seemed like this thing I really wanted to act up with other people around. One time, I was sitting there, did laundry, shut the dryer, cut it on, sat back down, was talking to my sister, and then the dryer, you hear the dryer pop up, like, boom, the door, right, pow. And I'm like, damn, I thought I shut it good. Go back in there, shut it, cut it back on. It starts spinning. I sit down, as soon as I sit down, it says, pow, again. I'm like, now I know I slammed that door. It ain't that many clothes in there for it to be popping open. What the hell is going on? Get my ass up. My sister in there watching it all go down too. Get my ass up. Shut it. Shut it. Sit down. What does it do? Pop right the fuck back open. Pop right the fuck back open. See, it did. I don't know what was in there, y'all. It did little menacing shit like that all the time. You know? I got a bar. One time, I'm sitting there talking to my sister. Running my mouth, uh huh, da, 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 da. and this happened, and I see my husband walk past and go into the kitchen. Because from the living room, it was like this little doorway that you could see into the kitchen, right? Uh -huh. I'm like, ooh, ain't that right, boo? Hey, you know, I'm sitting up there talking to him, having a whole conversation. I'm like, oh, so you gonna ignore me? And we ain't hear nothing. My sister was like, you sure he in there? I was like, yeah, I just saw him walk past. Right? I saw my husband walk past. Same height, same everything. I mean, it was dark, but I saw him walk past. I go in the kitchen. You think he in there? I hope so. Ain't nothing in the kitchen. Now, I just literally saw. It is one way in, one way out. You can't go. You can't go out the bedroom into the kitchen without passing the living room. You, I, I have to see you. 
I'm sitting right there where you're going to have to pass through. I saw him go that way, had a whole conversation with him. When he don't answer back, I get my black ass up to go in there and look. And he ain't even in there. <laughs> Baby. Baby, the day we moved out, me and my sister came to clean up because, you know, I'm on my security deposit back. Period! We in there cleaning up and everything. And that same hallway I'm looking through, you know, my sister's in the kitchen. She's uh cleaning out the cabinets and stuff. And I'm in the living room mopping. But like I say, you, that hallway, you got to get, you got to, it's hard for me to explain. But so I'm mopping right and I look, out the corner of my eye, I look and I see this little black ass shadow. Little, it was small like an animal, but it was low to the ground and I saw it go past that same little doorway, right? Now my sister's in the damn kitchen, right? Now, she's facing the hall, right? So it would be coming towards her like that and going past me this way. So I'm like, whoa. I'm looking at it like, yo, I just seen something in the hallway. And my sister said, I saw it too. Damn, this is some scary shit. Now, how do you explain that? Now, all the stuff, I always try to give an explanation. Maybe the battery flew, maybe the dryer, the, 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 the door was loose. Who knows? I always try to come up with some logical explanation with everything. And all of the creepy events, maybe they could all be explained scientifically somehow. But that right there, how do you explain me and her saw the same exact black shadow at the same exact time? Two different angles. How do you explain that? You can't. That's why I got my black ass the fuck up out of there. I'm done. I even want right. <sighs> mm. Mm. You know, my ghost hunters. Sometimes I want to write them and be like, hey, it's this house in L.A., well, this condo in L.A. that you need to check out. Oh, before I go, let me tell you the best thing about wedding town. So I'm trying to figure out, did somebody die in here? Because there's too much crazy shit going on. <laughs> but, um... What was I about to say? Oh, so like I said, the landlord, I was just like, is what kind of energy is here? Cause this energy is not like a good energy. It don't want us here. Get your ass out of here. It doesn't want us here. It's going to do little stuff. Like it was a straight up poltergeist, you know? It won't no apparition except for that one where I saw my husband walking past, but it was a poltergeist where it will move stuff. It's going to throw stuff. It's going to make cut on. It's gonna knock stuff over. I ain't even tell you how by the time my sister would be sleep at night sometimes. Every night at three o'clock in the morning, she would be sleep facing like this. The computer, after we didn't move, then she didn't put the computer over there on the desk and everything like that. She could hit typing. She like this sleep. Computer over there. And she could hit some typing on the damn computer. What the fuck is going on? She could feel like sometimes stuff sit down on her bed, you know, like that. Now, she never turned around and looked because I don't blame her. Look, let me shut the hell up because I don't feel like editing a long ass video. Oh, for real. One last thing. I'll say that for another haunted mukbang. Gotcha, bitch. Anyway, I'm done. If you're, what was I supposed to say? I'm full. Y'all got me all excited and shit. I'm full. If you're not, click on the video that's about to pop over here in a few seconds and indulge. And until the next time, chocoholics, I'm done. Chocolate!